Well, g'day, it's Bleakers here for Ocean Blue Fishing, and I'm standing in front of a game-changing product for the industry, and to tell me a little bit about it is Justin from Mercury Marine. Justin, thanks for your time. No worries. Now, it looks spectacular, but what am I actually looking at? So this is a 7.6 litre V12. You know, that, that displacement is yep. an industry first. Industry, haven't seen it on the market before? No, absolutely not. And here we've got the 600 horsepower uh, yep. model, and it's also available in a 500 horsepower C Pro. Too. 600, so on my boat at home, I've got a, a, a 90, and when I, was, when I was younger, I had a 20 to 15. To think we're now up to 600, did we think we could get there a few years ago? Is it, is it truly industry leading? It is, and you know, it's not for the traditional sense that we're okay. just going bigger. Yep. This is really designed for big boats because yep. customers are looking for more horsepower yep. because there's been that transition from inboards or stern drive boats yep. into outboards, and to allow that, you know, something like this was needed. Right, okay, so starting from the top, I'm sure this is packed with features. I mean, look how big it is. Can we start at the top and work our way down? If we open, if we pop the hood, as they would say, what, what are we going to find in there? Yeah, absolutely. So as I said, 7.6 litre V12, you yep. know, our comparable product, we've got a V8. Yep. Um, so, you know, it's a big jump up to that V12. Yeah, and what's that mean for me? Like if I bought, what does that actually mean for, the, for someone who's using this product? Yeah, good question. So really it's about effortless power. Right. You know, it's about big heavy boats getting up on plane yep. without really working the engine hard. So all that displacement means you've got the power mm -hmm. to, uh, to really drive the boat. Yeah, wow, awesome. So coming down into the middle, I notice it looks a little bit different to the conventional motors that I've seen over the years. It looks a little bit bulkier, but yet it's still got this awesome thing at the bottom that we're going to get to. So in the middle here, um, is, is there anything going on in here that is basically taking this from just a standard motor to an industry leading one? Yeah, absolutely. So the midsection yep. um, and through the middle there, we've got an industry first two speed transmission. So no other product on the market, yep. uh, outboard product is offering that. And so that allows us to take the power and get the boat up on plane, like the first gear in a car, mm -hmm. and then move into second gear at speed at cruise to help with fuel efficiency and other performance. Well, so you mentioned it there, fuel efficiency. A motor this big, the first thing I think of is dollars when I'm <laughs> at the petrol station. Is, is that the case or is it, is it quite good on fuel? Look, you know, to own an engine like this, you know, you're going to own a big boat. Yep. You're going to be used to yep. spending money on fuel. But in terms of comparing it to, you know, twin 300 horsepower engines, you know, there's some pros and cons, yep. but overall it's relatively comparable. So yeah. it's not a significant change or, or increase in fuel usage. It's very comparable. So coming down to the business end, this moving contraption that is capturing nearly everyone's eye that walks past <laughs> this. So this is, this is really innovative. So gone are the days uh, where you're turning it, the wheel and the whole motor moves. Yep. The idea behind this obviously is it pivots on itself. So run us through a little bit of this. Yeah, so from the transmission, it's, yeah, we've got to get that power to the water. And we do that through this steerable gear case. Yep. So because we've got you know, such a big power head um, and it's going to be on a big boat, we're really trying to clean up the transom. Yep. So we've removed a lot of the steering and it's built into the product. Yep. That also allows us to line the engines up nice and closely. So for larger boats that have multiple engines, yep. you know, you're not moving all the weight and you're only steering with the gear case. So the weight bottom. distribution is the one that rings out for me. If you've got such a big motor at the back and you're moving it every time that you've got a steer, then obviously that's going to throw the boat out of whack. But a boat, a motor like this can still do its thing because only the, the bottom section is moving. Is it, that, that's the, basically the principle behind it? Yeah, absolutely. And it allows us to get um, wider steering angles as well. So with our joystick uh, steering, you know, really wide to move and walk the boat sideways. Now you said you have uh, you could fit motors next to each other. You're telling me there's a boat out there that's got two of these on it? Well, there's boats being built in Australia to, to take three, but in the US, you know, they're, they're crazy and they're already up to, you know, four, five, six of these on the back. My so, goodness. You know, they, they really love their power over there. Right, now there's a product over there that um, looks very similar to this, but it's a little bit further down so I can see into it. Can we go check that out? Yeah, absolutely, let's go. So this is a little bit more like it because I can actually see the motor as opposed to that one. So. You said that these are likely going to be on those big boats and they're designed to get big boats out of the water quick, but does that mean most of them are going to be moored at marinas and be stationed at docking stations in the water? Absolutely, and you know, that's the expectation. With this engine, it's going on larger boats yep. that are going to live in the water. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we introduced is a full service hood. 
Nice. So the ability to access all the service touch points through the top of the and engine. And the click of a button. Yeah. So basically what you're saying is if I have an issue with this or I just want to get it checked or it's done its birthday and I need to get it serviced, I can have someone come, leave it in the water and do all the bits and bobs they need to do without having to take it out. Absolutely. All the minor services yep. done at 200 hours uh, are done through the hood. It's only at 500 hours that the boat needs to come out of the water. That's a really neat feature, especially when you know, you've know you got such big boats and such a hassle to get it out, to know that you can come, get it done, be out fishing straight away. I like that touch, that's, that's really cool. Look at the, I don't even know what I'm looking at, but there's some serious stuff going on in here. People much smarter than us have, uh, have done all this, mate. That's awesome. Yeah. This is a sight to see. We've mentioned this bottom part of the motor, but the props is where, I guess, everything happens. So we've got a dual prop on this by the looks of it. And I noticed there's three blades on the outer one and then four on the inner one. Now that seems like a strategic decision. Run me through a little bit of that. Yeah, so, you know, we've got all this power. We've got to transfer it through the water and the props are like the tires on your car. So, you know, the dual prop means that we've got more grab in the water. We can get up on the plane quicker, yep. um, which is obviously important. But then also for slow speed maneuverability around the dock, the dual props allow us to yeah, maneuver that boat really yeah, carefully. Yeah. And then in reverse, because you've got the four on the back, you're going to have a lot of torque even when you're going backwards and not just forwards, which is yeah, a big ab benefit. Absolutely. So yeah, the use of you know the two props. Mm -hmm. um, they with... work together, don't they? Really? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Well, mate, that has been a, a really, really fun product to have a look at. It is a sight to see, but I can't wait to get out and check it on the water. Thanks for your time today, mate. No worries. Have a great day. Cheers. Thanks. Well, I hope you enjoyed another video from Ocean Blue. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your mates. If you want to get involved, head over to the comments section below and let us know what you think. While you're there, don't forget to get up to date on all the videos over at Ocean Blue as we look to tackle everything in the world of fishing and the great outdoors. I'm Bleakers, signing off until next time. We'll see you on the water.